Hello everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name's Emma. Yeah, so I just thought I'd literally just sit here, film myself, practicing my makeup, and go from there really. So yeah, if you wanna see how I did this makeup look, please keep watching. Oh God, that's gonna be like the worst introduction ever. So cringy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, just gonna be a video. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off with my brows and I'm going to use the MAC Brow Pencil in the shade Lingering. And she's going to use this to just literally shape up my brows. I'm just going to go underneath them. And follow my natural outline of my brow. It's actually really cold. Like, my toes are freezing. It's been snowing here really badly. <laughs> Sorry if I keep looking down, I've got a mirror down there that my setup's not that great. Obviously just do the same again with the other one. it through the front like so okay so brows are done underneath my brows with my concealer and the concealer I'm going to use if I can find it. If I can find it. Definitely should have got all of this out before and got myself ready, but I didn't. So it's fine. Oh, it's definitely not a concealer. Oh, where is my concealer gone? Here, right front there. I'm going to be using the NYX HD concealer. along with my Zoeva 144 brush. Literally just gonna put this all over my lid and then carve out my brows at the same time. gonna add a bit more to the lid. I always find that if I put that on first and I usually get it all in my brows which we don't want to do. So again with the other eye, putting it on my brush. Right now, I'm going to take my favourite brush. I'm going to take my Zoeva 221. I'm just going to set my concealer with some translucent powder. Powder? Powder. Probably shouldn't have worn a black top for this, but it's fine. But how cute are the sleeves though? Look, they've got fur on the sleeves. But now it looks like it's been snowing inside, not just outside. Just gonna quickly do some the other one. Right, with the same brush. I'm going to take 
my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange. I love this palette so much. I love how easy it is to blend. I'm not even joking. These are, to me, the most blendable eyeshadows ever. Especially if you're new at makeup. I think they're so good. And I'm just literally just going to build that up. Gonna keep building. I can hear people outside like chugging to get their cars out of the snow. I haven't even bothered to leave my house. I tried it yes uh, not yesterday, the day before, but today. No, no, no. I'm just going to keep building that up. I'm only going to use two colours today. Let me just zoom you in a little bit. Just so you can see. You know, you can see right on my nose. Great. Is that better? Oh, focus, focus. That's it. A bit better. And I go right and then round, just buff it in. However, when I'm doing this, I'm taking this right round underneath my eyes, just because I find that about it, I just get a better like corner of my eye. I definitely have no idea what I'm doing, so. I'm just going to roll with it today. Definitely not a makeup guru either. Just having fun with it. Doing alright so far. Doing alright so far. It feels like it's starting to warm up a bit in my house. I think the heating's kicked in. My toes aren't like icicles. I'm starting to get the feeling back. <laughs> okay, so they are buffed and blended. I'm now just going to take on my 232 brush, I'm just going to take the shade Cypress Umber right here I'm just going to pop that all over my lid and then all I'm going to do is take the first brush that we used with that burnt orange colour and I'm just going to try and blend the two together. Sorry, I feel like I'm squinting. But it's hard to kind of concentrate when you've also got a brush in your eye. Same with the other eye. I really hope you can see what I'm doing. Because I currently can't. 
especially when I'm trying to look so you, to show you guys and blend it out but it doesn't matter it's fine itchy nose oh I swear whenever I do my makeup I always get an itchy nose right they are done god that's my bed definitely don't want to do that I make such a mess when I get ready the lashes I'm going to use today are dull lashes in the shade in the shade in the style Selena while them lashes are drying I'm just going to apply some mascara the mascara I'm going to use is the Barry M Showgirl mascara Just put some eyeliner underneath my lash line and I'm going to be using the Candy Split Eye Pencil by Kiko. Just going to apply some more of that concealer. Just do it underneath of my eyes, just so that I can just tidy up the underneath of my eyes. And to buff that out, I'm just going to use the Morphe M335. Just so I can then just tidy up. You know what I mean? Going back in with this shape. Actually, I'm not going to use that brush, no. Taking my 225 Lux Eye Blender brush. I'm just going to take that first colour that we used, which was the burnt orange. I'm just going to put that on the underneath of my eyes. And then I'm going to take the Cypress Umber colour, color, which was the second one in this palette, the dark one. And just do the same. I literally get so thrilled my lashes go on correct they don't take like hours to put on this one's a bit of a bugger but it's fine so then I can use mascara and then just do my lower lash line Now for the face, I'm going to take the MUA Prism Primer. I'm also going to go over to the top. I'm also going to go over that with the MAC strobe cream. Can never be too glowy. Oh, I love this stuff. I do. I love it. I love it a lot. Now for foundation, I'm going to take the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm in the shade 5 and I'm going to use it in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender Oops, just 
skulle jag inte låta det. Does anyone else feel like they're really heavy-handed when they use a beauty blender? Careful on the brows, don't get in the brows! Oh. I'm gonna take my concealer now and I'm gonna take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes I'm going to take it down to my nose here on my chinny chin chin just down my nose and then on my forehead and I'm just going to start by buffing that in with the same brush that we used earlier on the Morphe M335 brush I'm just gonna that in. So windy outside, I don't know if you can hear the wind, but Storm Emma's coming, Storm Emma is coming. Oh. Of all things to have named after you, I've got a storm. Take some more of that Laura Mercier powder and just set where I've put all of that concealer. And with that, I'm just going to take the 105 Lux Highlight Brush by Zoeva. It doesn't look as white as what it does on the camera. It's so funny. Also, just take the remainder of that as well. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a line. I'm just gonna leave that to set for a little bit and get all the white off of me. While that's setting, I'm just going to take my Shade and Light palette, the Kat Von D, and I'm going to take my Real Techniques, Real Techniques? Yeah, Real Technique, wait, Real, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Oh my god, I've actually just hit pan on that, look, can you see, <laughs> you can see how much I use that, can't you? I don't wanna dance with no one. I put my hands on your butt. Me for it. Me for it. And I'm gonna do underneath me jawline. Let's try and hide the fact that all I'm eating is cakes this week. <laughs> I wish that wasn't true, but it definitely is the truth. Just gonna take... Hey, where's that gone? Oh my God, I literally would lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Just gonna take my MAC Medium Deep Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm gonna use my 106 powder brush. I'm just gonna go over where I applied my contour, just bronzing up a bit. Down my neck so it all blends in very nicely. And then just puff it on my forehead. I'm 
I'm also going to take this NYX New York palette and I'm going to take the blusher shade from it. I'm not too sure what the name is, but actually, it's called Rouge. Is that right? Yeah, it's called Rouge. This one here. And I'm just going to take the 126 cheek brush. And I'm just going to dab that on. And bring it all the way up. Now, to wipe off the excess of this. And then I'm just going to spritz my face with some MAC Fix Plus. Need to buy some more. Running out. And then for the favourite part is the highlight. For this, I'm going to use the Ofra Glazed Donut. How pretty is that? And I'm going to take my Spectrum fan brush. Do it up at the sides. Oh. On my nose. Down the bridge. A little bit above my lips. I literally love this highlight. Look at it. Oh, yeah, makes me so excited. Right, I'm going to put some more of that highlight underneath my brow bone. And I'm going to use the 230, 230? 230 Luxe Pencil. Again, by Zoeva. I'm just going to put this in the corner. in the corner I'm also just going to put this underneath my brow bone so but I still can't get over that highlight look <laughs> this is what I live for <laughs> lastly gonna do my lips so I'm gonna take the well lip pencil by Mac okay I'm now just gonna go to the top of that liner with the NYX butter gloss in the shade uh, oh god Madeline This stuff smells amazing as well. Lastly, just going to take some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Make sure that's. Doesn't smell as good as the Fix Plus, but it's fine. And there we have it. This is the finished look. You'll see more of me just practicing my makeup and just sitting in my room. Then yeah, I would really like it if you could just hit the subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up button. So yeah, this is it. We are all done and I will see you in the next one.